Um, most of the problems that I've had with um, places not having wheelchair accessibility is um, places around the mall and um, Walmart and I do theater at the Paramount and there are some things that they could do that would make things, it's not, I make it work so it's not terrible but there are some, definitely some things they could do for accessibility. But um, Like at the mall, for example, small stores like, you know, Claire's, can't get around in those very well. Um, it's hard enough probably for like normal people like you all to get around, but my chair, like I'll knock over stuff and, um, and then like the dollar store and places like that. But overall, most of the places are pretty good about making sure that I can get where I need to go. Um, <laughs> I think ramps would help and also, um, um, uh, automatic doors probably and, um, it could be something as simple as just having somebody that's in a wheelchair or using a walker or crutch just to come in and like give them ideas on how they could, how the store could make it more accessible and easy to maneuver through and And then, um, like Ms. Barker was saying, some places can be accessible, but they still kind of single you out. Like, for example, the Paramount, it is very accessible. You know, you can get up into the auditorium, but then once you're seated, there's only like a couple spots for wheelchairs to be so I could sit there but I could only have like one other person sit with me so if I was with a big group of people you yeah, know it's kind said. of awkward you know just like oh who's gonna sit with me and just pick like <laughs> you know and then also I've noticed um, like football ba football games and baseball games um, the football stadium out here I mean you have good seating and you can see but if I'm up in where the wheelchairs are then my family's like down on the 50 yard line kind of like mm, yeah. yeah so it's just I don't know we're still it things can be accessible but we're still kind of singled out I guess you could say mm, I just wish it would like make it easier to where I wouldn't like stand out as much as you all do you know just so it like I would be able to do more of the things that you guys could do or do them with you all instead of by myself or whatever. Ms. Barker had talked about like the button that you press like mm -hmm. whenever you need accessibility to, like to get in, mm -hmm. like how you couldn't do that. Yeah, it, it's just where the elevator is placed, it's oddly placed. Like there's a door right there, so to go up, I couldn't get to the button because yeah. the door was open, so it just, like it's accessible, but some things are still kind of not as accessible as they probably should be. I'm in theater at the Paramount, and so I, um, to get backstage, um, there's a set of doors that you can go down that has a ramp, um, and then on, I guess, the, I guess it's the second floor um, that's up by the stage, there's a set of steps that you can um, go in, and then, um, you'll go down an elevator and then somebody has to let me in at the doors by the ramp outside. And so I think that, um, I think that definitely could, I had some issues with accessibility there. That I actually have, I could probably talk to you all day about this, but one that has really bothered me, um, I went to school out of ACTC um, for the Moorhead branch. And in the back building was where all the math classes were, are taken. And um, one of my classes was up on the third floor. Well, the elevator there, I mean, it, w it worked every other day, but the one day I get there, it's not working. And <laughs> so I get all the way up there, and they're like, oh, the elevator's not working. So I'm like, okay, is there any way the professor can come down or whatever? And the professor, instead of like trying to be willing to like work with me, she's like, well, somebody can carry your chair upstairs. And I was like, mm, I don't think that's the best idea. And instead of like trying to accommodate me where I wouldn't have to miss class, she's like, well, I guess you're just going to have to go home. So 
I mean, people probably wouldn't think that would happen, you know, in this time, but I mean, it still does. People are still kind of closed-minded instead of like trying to accommodate people with different needs. They're just like, hmm, you're lost, you know. So, yeah, that was probably one of the worst ones that yeah. <laughs> but like I said, I could go on and on, but that one is just, I mean, it was a college class. So it was something, you know, I needed, and I had gone all the way up there for, and then she's like, well, there's nothing we can do. I guess you'll just have to go home. So. As you can see, <laughs> this button is way too tall for a person seated in a wheelchair and not accessible at all. Okay, so you can see that I could get in here, it'd be a little hard, not could if he scratches on the door, but <laughs> <laughs> once I get in here, This elevator door is actually smaller than this regular door. Maybe. 